Hey everybody, Red Eagles Green here, and today we're taking a look at All Elite Wrestling Series 3 Unravel Collection, Orange Cassidy. Now, Orange Cassidy has become a huge success here in AEW, very popular with the fans. Um, while we haven't had many fans in attendance lately, who can forget the huge pop he received against Pac in that match on pay-per-view, and uh, I think he's been off to the races ever since then. He is a huge fan favorite so i'm so happy to have here his first action figure and you know if you've seen any of the other reviews you know that this is one to look forward to and probably a contender for figure of the year so we'll open him up and we'll take a look at just why he is so awesome um let's take a look here on the back real quick we see orange cassidy um his uh signature here uh, we have all the other figures that are in series three pack Rio, Orange Cassidy, of course, Darby Allen, Matt Jackson, and Nick Jackson. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see what makes him so cool. Alright, so here we have Orange Cassidy. And so with Orange Cassidy, he comes with several several different hands. Uh, he has the hands to you know grip and hold things. Put those to the side. He has his hands for putting his hands in his pocket. So let's go ahead and take him out of the package. He has his sunglasses already on, so let's step those off before we lose them. And let's try to pop them out of this plastic bubble. So Orange Cassidy does come with this plastic over his head, which looks kind of funny. But the reason for this is so that, you know, if you had him stored for a long time, his glasses wouldn't stain his head. So they do this for um, keeping the figure looking nice. And so here you can see his other hand for putting into his pocket. And here he has his famous thumbs up hand. Um, so Orange Cassidy comes with a cloth jean jacket and a shirt but this is actually very interesting because you know normally with a t-shirt it has a velcro on the back right but in this case the jean jacket velcros into the t-shirt so you can see the velcro is here at the front and you can pull it off like so so it's actually kind of like sewn into the jacket so this part sewn in and this part is velcroed for the the shirt so let's put that back in there and so in here he has his famous t-shirt with his face on it and here you can see the um, head sculpt is uh, really good it looks just like him you know it's, it's one thing you kind of have to get used to with some of these figures is the shininess of the plastic you know WWE Mattel's uh, elites don't normally have that so much shine on there. So that's something to always get used to. But I think for the most part, it looks really, really like Orange Cassidy, especially when you put his sunglasses on. Perfect, right? So here we have his jean jackets rolled up sleeves. Um, and let's get to the main event about this figure. You know, you have all the articulation, we have the knee pad. That's in there. Uh, his shoes, man, these are very detailed. Um, but the main event here is this: the pockets. Um, Orange Cassidy has, you know, his gimmick where he's like, I guess he's like the laziest wrestler of all time, or he's just too cool, you know, to try. So then he does this thing where he puts his hands in his pockets right before he faces off with an opponent. So let's put his other hand in here and let's see. So normally you know, he puts his hands up in the air, like he's gonna do, uh, like he's going to um, do a test of strength. And when his opponent reaches out for the test of strength, he slides these bad boys into his pocket. So I think one problem I'm having here right now, I'm trying to reposition the figure, is that the joint in the elbow is not positioned, I mean in the shoulder, are not positioned right for me to do this. And there goes his sunglasses. So let's 
Wow, look at that. Hand in the pocket and hands in the pocket. This is pretty cool, guys. So the, the way this works is that there is an extra layer of plastic. So this is all plastic. It doesn't come off, but there's this extra layer of plastic that's more loose. And you can see that under in the holes of the pockets, underneath, he still has this kind of hard plastic for his jeans. So, so then the way they really did it is that they put this rubber around the hard plastic of his actual jeans. And it gives the illusion, you know, that he's actually putting his hands in his pocket. And so with his uh, glasses back on, he completes the look as the famous orange Cassidy. Very cool. Very cool, guys. Um, you know, this innovation is something that, you know, we haven't really seen in a lot of other figures or figure makers uh, going so far as to, you know, make something happen that a character really, you know, centers its um, personality around. And it's something simple like putting their hands in their pocket, but it really completes the whole look of, uh, of Orange Cassidy and his, his personality and his character. So man, this is an awesome figure from the jeans to the jacket to the shirt. So much innovation in this figure. Um, the likeness is dead on. The glasses fit perfectly. You know, they don't fall off unless you really, you know, move it around. Um, so, yeah, I love it. I love this figure, man. This is so cool. Um, this has got to be, it's, this is going to have to be figure of the year. It's going to be really hard to top it. Um, just because there's so much innovation in this um, in this figure. So, how I would pose this guy, I, I kind of like him with his, with a thumbs up hand. So, I'll do one thumbs up hand. I mean, he only comes with, with the one with his kind of lazy thumbs up. And then I'll probably try to put his hand in his pocket for his other hand. And there you have it guys orange cassidy what do you guys think figure of the year what what else could compete with this i mean just with the innovation alone um it's gonna be hard to top what have you been considering so far as figure of the year does this is this going to make it up there for you uh, let me know in the comments below and if you haven't yet please like and subscribe and if you haven't follow me on instagram and on uh twitter you know we have been gaining some followers here and there and um uh, Maybe soon, maybe there's uh, there's uh, there's going to be some opportunity for maybe some giveaways. I don't know. Um, it really depends on how how big this channel gets and how many subscribers get involved. But uh, but let me think about it. And uh, if you keep on recommending people to subscribe to this channel, I would really appreciate it, and that would really uh, get us going to where we need to be. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.